Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Working on an HP laptop here, and I'm going to show you how to factory reset this laptop uh, back to factory settings. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you how to factory reset it is if you have access to your computer, you're on your desktop, and, and it's functioning, and, and you can navigate around. Uh, the other way I'm going to show you is if you, if you can't get into your computer. If it's in a boot loop or it's, it's getting stuck loading on startup right, and you can't get to your computer to access this part, I'll show you how to factory recess it from the startup menu. Um, so if you need to know how to do that, then just skip this first part of the video. I'll put down in the description what timestamp uh, the second method starts. So if you're on your desktop here, uh, go down to your search bar and it's very easy from here. Just type in reset. It's kind of easy and under system settings reset this pc pops up so i'll zoom in here a little for you so reset this pc click on that this opens up your system settings and then you can see here uh, if your pc isn't running well resetting it might help so you click on get started right there Now this is a uh, crucial decision to make here. This one on top, labeled keep my files, removes apps and settings but keeps your personal files. This is something that I call a soft reset. So it resets a lot of your settings but you don't lose a lot of your data. Um, however, that's not very effective with a lot of malware and, and virus issues and it may not be effective if your operating system is too corrupt. Um, that's why most of the time when you think of a reset, you think of this one down bottom where it says remove everything, removes all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So this is a complete, what I call a hard reset, or a factory reset, which takes this back to the original operating system when it was installed, hopefully. Um, and it will erase all of your data, uh, but it is more effective at getting rid of your malware and, 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 and getting rid of um, viruses and, and severe corruptions to the operating system. So you would choose whichever one you wanted to do there and you would click on whichever one and just follow those prompts through. They're very easy, very self-explanatory, um, but that's how you would access th that option. Now again, now I'm going to show you how to access the option if your computer won't start and if you can't get to this option. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down, shut my computer down and, re and restart it for you. Okay, so my computer is shut off at this point. So at this point, you're gonna start it and go ahead and start tapping on F11 when your computer starts. So power, F11 right away. As you can see here, this appears in your screen sometimes, F11 for system recovery. So that's what we're trying to access here. And I think I caught it in time, so I'm going to stop clicking on it now. Okay, and there's the options that we're looking for. Um, the option we want is down here under Troubleshoot. So if you have use of your mouse, use it. If not, use your arrow keys. But down here, Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC, or See Advanced Options. I want to click on that. Again, Reset This PC. Click on that. And there's the exact same options we just saw when we were in the operating system. You have your same options here, your soft reset and your hard reset. Uh, so again, if you wanted to use the hard reset, uh, I'll, I'll click on it now and we can follow the prompts through uh, so you can see what comes up. And these are the same prompts that would come up if you were doing this from the actual um, operating system as well. Okay, so it asks you just remove your files or fully clean the drive. Again, depending on why you're here, if you're here because of virus, malware issues, if you're here because your computer's not functioning properly, um, operating system issues, you, you usually want this bottom one, fully clean the drive. Um, and that can take several hours, it, it, it says. Um, so keep in mind, this may take a long time. If you're just looking to reset files, it'll be a, a lot faster. So again, just follow these prompts through. They're very self-explanatory based on, on what you're looking to do. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you see something that you don't understand, if something pops up you weren't expecting, uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, I try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. 
And if I see people asking the same questions over and over, I put it in the frequently asked questions in, in the description. Um, so keep in mind, if you're trying to st uh, do this factory reset, and for some reason it stalls out or it gets stuck or it doesn't work in any way, your operating system may be a little too corrupt to allow for a factory reset because uh, this is still an option within the operating system. So if it's too corrupt, you'll probably have to reinstall the operating system from scratch. Uh, look below in the description. There'll be a link on where you can download your own free install media for Windows 10. Um, if you're choosing to purchase it, make sure you're purchasing install media and not recovery media. And then there'll be another link below in the description on how to install Windows 10 fresh. Uh, so please like and share if this was helpful. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.